Hi, I'm Guy Hutchinson. This is Pointless Nostalgia. Today we're getting pointlessly nostalgic about this Barbie game I once bought for 50 cents. I'll tell you, I love buying board games at garage sales and flea markets. The greatest thing about them is unlike every other toy that was made in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and this one I think came out in the 1990s, at least it says that on the back. Unlike every other toy that a child would get, a board game remained in the original box and got so little use. I mean, you'd use it once in a while. Sometimes the pieces are missing, but almost always the box is there, which is just so rare. You don't find a G.I. Joe in the box anymore. You don't find anything else but a Barbie game, absolutely, in the box. A layer of dust on it, but I figure with the new movie out, I wanted to dust this thing off, take a look, see what Barbie was up to. Hope you enjoy this video. By the way, I do a video every day at 2 o'clock, so every single day, come back. A little more nostalgia for you. Let's get pointlessly nostalgic about this thing. Here's the newest, most fun game of all for girls of all ages. It's made by Mattel, creators of Barbie, the famous teenage fashion doll. It's the fabulous new Barbie game. Exciting to play. Exciting to see which girl gets to be queen of the prom. Uh, here is the back of the box. It's the Barbie Queen of the Prom game, the 1990s edition. She's dancing with Ken. It says, land on special spaces to collect everything you need to go to the prom. A new dress, a hairstyle, a boyfriend, and a ride to the prom. <laughs> Gotta collect yourself a boyfriend, Barbie. Look, Barbie, it's, it's time for you to start. Get yourself a man. Isn't she with Ken? Isn't that her boyfriend? Go home, which must be a space on the board. Go home and change clothes. Transform your play piece to reveal Barbie and her beautiful new prom dress. Oh, we're going to see Barbie get changed. Oh, we're going to go to her house. Oh, I don't think Ken's seen that. I don't think Ken's been there. Step up to the center circle path. You're now at the prom. Oh, man, spoiler alert. They ruined the whole game for me. I didn't know how it ended. All right, well, let's take a look at this. Let's pop this thing open. I got this for 50 cents. I'm pretty sure I've never opened this before, so Lord knows what might be inside, but I'm going to bet the entire game with all the pieces. All right, let's, let's take a look. All right, here's the inside of the box. Sometimes they put the rules and instructions and everything here, but they did not, but fear not. Previous owner has left this in here. The Barbie Queen of the Prom came. Someone took a bite out of this. I just took a, took a hunk out of this. All right, I'm going to read the instructions to you just so you know how to play them. We'll look at the board. We'll see the pieces. These games are usually pretty simple. They're usually it's something like you roll or flip or we'll figure that out. But there's usually a way to move and then you just do whatever the board says. These board games for kids were usually pretty simple in the old days. Today, they've gotten so much more complicated, but I like one that you pick up, you barely need to look at the instructions. And as a matter of fact, you can just take a bite out of the instructions and then move on. The object, you gotta buy a formal dress, get your hairstyle, get ready, go get your boyfriend, go to the prom. Before the play, you set everything up. We do have a spinner, you assemble the spinner and you place all the travel, beauty salon, boyfriend and dress cards. So we'll look at those on the spots on the center of the board and put your friend cards out. Uh, so the goal is to collect one of each, that makes sense. So you collect one of each and the winner is the first one to reach the end of the inner game path with the crown on in that space. They've got some good looking pictures here even though they're only in monochrome with this like uh, pinkish Barbie color. All right, I told you guys, that I had not played this. I There are a few things that I said that I've now realized are wrong. So the first thing I said was that I never played this. Second thing I said was that all the pieces were here. But I know that both of those things are not true because there's a card with my handwriting that just says beauty salon. So at some point I played this, found out there was no beauty salon and you would Wait. never be able to tell the difference between this card and, and this card. Like, which one did I make up? Was it this one or was it that? You wouldn't know. You would be like, oh, they both look exactly like they were made by a machine in a factory. Beautiful. These are the figures, and they would go into the little glittery base. This game has certainly gotten some use. These figures, they all have Barbie on them, 
but she transforms. So you see your Barbie and she's just in her, I'm going to the mall, I'm just a cute little Barbie outfit. But then at the end, ba-boom, you flip her around, she's in her prom dress. And so that's what Barbie looks like in her prom dress with shoulders that could go on for days. It's like, I mean, like, like clouds, like jiggly puffs up on each shoulder. Here is your spinner. You got, uh, it's actually cool. It's got the Barbie logo on the back, but you spin it. You've got one, two, three, or four. One has your tiara on it for some reason, but that'll tell you how many spaces you go. Nice little spinner. Spinners are easy. It's for two to four players, ages five and up. So you only have to be five to play this. By the way, this is by Golden, which was the makers of the Little Golden books. I think I have a Little Golden book. I got a little golden book. This is one of the newer ones that they put out. This is the Mr. DNA's Book of Dinosaurs. But you probably remember, I remember when I was a kid, they had like this whole thing with Big Bird and Train, all the characters on there. Pokey little puppy. Look at that. Barbie has made her own currency. So if you are, I like the, the kid that separated these, just tearing them out. Or maybe a little of this. I don't know. The Bank of Barbie. So it's not Ken. I thought it was Ken. Uh, I know you sitting at home, you're like, come on, don't you know Ken? And she didn't meet Ken until after high school. But uh, so you got this guy. This guy does look like Ken, but I don't think he is. You got this guy. Look at that guy. Could end up with him. You go with this guy or this guy. I think all of these guys are on MSNBC. I think these are start off the morning with, with these two. They give you the news. This guy gives you the hard hitting news. Rachel Maddow's on in the evening after him. This is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. All right, here it is, your game board. It's very nice. So there's a uh, there's an outer rim, which I'll have. I guess I'll turn it upside down so you can see it. But you got your beauty salon. You got your boyfriend. You got you got to collect some money. You got to get yourself a car, and they have all that stuff in here. You have all Barbie's friends. They're on the inside, so like. This girl's here, you can see. So you got to collect these. So you would have these things all laid around on the board. And you'd collect them and you'd take Barbie to the prom, guys. And there it is. There's your dream date with Barbie. Hope you enjoyed this one. I sure did. Glad I've, the memories of playing this, I don't have at all. But I did play it at some time. Beauty Salon. All right, guys. Right now, a box is going to pop up here, another box over here. Uh, I'm in both, so enjoy either one. I'll see you back here tomorrow at 2 o'clock. We'll see a whole new thing. won't be Barbie-related, but it's going to be awesome. Make sure you're here. I'll see you then. Right now, choose this one or that one. Two boxes, either one.